Hello everyone, welcome back to Vault Hunters. Today we're going to be opening some crates behind me with some great loot in it. And we're going to be crafting ourselves some player dolls. So over the past couple days, I have been working hard on grabbing more crates. I got a scavenger crate because I completed a scavenger vault. I got a bounty crate. Actually, I got two bounty crates. These two bounty crates were from the two that I could get here in the table. I completed two more of them, and so I have not yet opened them up. I am going to open them up with you today. So first, let's go ahead and grab our first bounty crate. All right, we got an orb of regret, which is really good. Some vault alloy, ooh, that's valuable. And five painite gems, so looking good there. This is my next bounty crate. Let's see, what did we get out of this one? So two mystery boxes, which can be very good. Five skill essence, which is awesome. Another orb of regret. Let's open these mystery boxes, because before mystery boxes were just kind of random stuff and we didn't really have a ton of use for them. They've changed that here in 118, and so they usually will drop gems. Ooh, I've never seen that one before. Xenium gem, okay. Two Xenium gems and a Laramar. Very cool. We'll add that to this box right here. Because I want to see what is separate from our... Oh, 21 Vault Bronze, too. I want to see what is different from this Scavenger Crate. Now, this one should, like you can see up at the top there, it should have some gear in it. Look at that. That's a good Scavenger Crate. I'm pleased with that. All right, so we got four more diamonds, which is nice. A moat of clarity removes re reveals all curses on a vault crystal. Interesting. Two memory shards. Not sure what those are used for yet. Five vault essence, a regret chunk, wild focus, driftwood, netherite, and some netherite scrap. So overall, that was a good one. Now these are the pieces that I am interested in. These are gear pieces, and we have an axe and leggings. Now I already have leggings here that are pretty good, but I am interested in the axe. All right, so the leggings are, ooh, four armor, a lot of durability, three health, 14% thorns damage. I guess it's really not much better than this one. This one actually gives me eight additional mana, which is nice and six armor. So uh, these are still better at this point than these here. We're going to keep them, of course. Here is our axe. This is a level six axe, 13 and a half attack, good speed. Wow. Okay, this is not too bad, and soulbound. So we will be replacing our netherite axe in the vaults now with a vault axe. So that is a good thing as well. So if you guys remember in one of the last episodes, there's a couple people just watching me. Um, one of the last episodes, I was crowned the vault champion. Now, you'll see my name is up there. I completed and got the most kills <laughs> out of everyone. I don't know what they're doing. And... Uh, so I have been tasked with giving everybody a task here on the server, or a challenge, sorry, something they have to do and do it for me. So let's, uh, let me show you guys what I'm thinking. So one of the things in this game is called a vault doll. So as far as I understand, one of the cool things you can do with a vault doll is you can give it to another player. Another player can wear this in their bobble slot on their head. And basically what that means is when they are wearing my doll on their head and they go into a vault, I will get XP if they complete that vault because they had my doll on their head. So it's kind of like a passive uh, generation for XP here that other players can do for me. Now they are kind of expensive. They do require either a lot of diamonds and a vault crystal or wither skeleton skulls and a vault crystal and some sticks. So, I don't know how many diamonds I have. Well, right now, I have a total of 33 diamonds. I don't quite have... Oh, what do I have here? Yeah, I have enough crystals to do everyone on the server. Uh, let's grab one of our level zero crystals here. And let's go ahead and make one of these up. I want to see what it looks like. Now, I'm pretty sure I should not put them down somewhere. Okay, so we get some information now. So basically my doll is going to 60% loot and 30 get 35% of their experience. I don't know if it just takes it from them or I just get it kind of in addition. I hope in addition. All right, so I have enough diamonds now to make, uh, actually I can make one more, uh, four of these. And let's go ahead and get this one done. So basically my challenge is going to be anytime anyone goes into a vault, especially at co-ops and things like that, they are required for the next week to wear one of my dolls on their head so I will passively gain XP from them. Now, I have to choose a new 
challenge each week for the month. So I need you guys to leave some comments down below and let me know what you would challenge the rest of the server members here to do for me. And look at it. Look at it when I'm holding it in my hand. Ha <laughs> ha! It's a mini me. Well, it looks really tiny there. But from this point of view, I have a little mini me down on the left hand side. I wonder if I can wear my own on my head. Here, we'll just go ahead and put one on my other hand here and make this a triple code. <laughs> that's the silliest thing I have ever seen. Oh, that's great. All right. Okay, this is just horrible. Look at these, both of these codes here. <laughs> Now, from what I understand, is basically the players have to run their vaults with them on their heads, and then whenever the week is done, they will basically give it back to me. I have to put the doll down on the ground and then kill it, which uh, sounds kind of creepy, but that is how I retrieve the XP and stuff from them, uh, doing it that way. And I understand that they are rather hard to catch, so I'm probably going to put them down in like an enclosed area so they can't escape or something like that, so that I can take care of them that way and get the loot from them and the XP. So what I'm going to be doing in the meantime is I am going to head down to the mines. I am going to revitalize my diamond mining because I need more diamonds. Oh, yeah, I guess I didn't show this one off. Between the last episodes, I've been, just, I've been working on decorating the place, uh, just trying to get stuff kind of built out and... Uh, enjoy the scenery a little bit more here i did finish up the house for the most part for right now again this is not permanent this is just a starter base i'm gonna have mostly storage down here uh, below this villager trading and the vault altar i may move my vault portal down there i'm not 100 percent sure yet but up here we have our vault forge in our artisan station and then over here we are just storing some of our ores we have gotten from the vaults now you'll notice this floor is a little bit higher this is higher on purpose because i eventually want to go to something like refined storage uh and the power mod and so i basically left myself a gap underneath here so that i can run cabling and stuff like that around the base here for now again we're going to be building a mega base later but we gotta we gotta get through the first uh, portions of Vault Hunters here first. So let's go ahead and make up another crystal. Let's see what we got. We got forty eight stone, coal, potatoes, and dripstone. All right. So coal, stone, dripstone, and potatoes. Oh, I need six more potatoes and some more potatoes. There we go. All right. Let's go ahead and craft up this crystal here. And we are now level 8, as you can see down there on the bottom. And so now our crystals are going to be level 8 crystals. Let's see what the next one is here. Yeah, I have all that stuff. Some seeds, cobblestone, copper, and amethyst. All right, so seeds, amethyst, copper, and cobblestone. Why am I constantly miscounting that last item? Anyway, there is some more seeds. So let's get ourselves one more crystal. And there we go, another level 8 crystal. Now, I do understand that I shouldn't be crafting a whole bunch of them ahead of time, but at this point, I'm mainly just crafting them because I need a total of uh, a bunch of crystals to make up a dolls for every player here on the server. All right, so we'll go ahead and pick another bounty. Now, I cannot choose this first one. If I click on this first one, it actually crashes my game. Um, I've done that a bunch of times and it's a big mistake. So I think we need to wait till the new patch comes out for the server files and then we can upgrade this and uh, hopefully we'll we'll be able to finish this one here. But right now, if I click it, it crashes my game. So we can choose the mining one, which is mine six Beniatite ore in the vault, which doesn't really give us that much. That's kind of a crappy one. And then this one here is submit 475 polished vault stone at the bounty table. This one gives us a rare plus shield, some alloys, mystery box, skill essence, chromatic steel, and some gems. Uh, I'm going to activate this one. That's 475 polished vault stone. Now, somewhere in here, I have a good bit of vault stone, bolt cobblestone, and I'm pretty sure I just have to smelt it up. Um, how much is this? We have 416 vault cobblestone. So, oh. Here's some more. Okay, so we have enough. We just need to smelt all of this up. Oh, this is going to take a while. All right, so we have smelted up all of our polished vault stone. Let's pull all of this out. I hope this is enough. I think I pulled some of it out already. Yeah, I was waiting for the last of it to go. Here we go. Polished vault stone. And I think we just... I think we have to... Okay, so it is active. Okay, it does a stack at a time. There we go. Okay, so we have... Submitted 475 polished vault stone. Let's claim that reward. We'll take our crate. Actually, before I open that, I gotta get these out of the way. All right, let's open this up. 
Boom! That's so satisfying to watch that. Oh man, that's satisfying. Okay, so we'll put this stuff in here. Some more Vault Alloy. Excellent Skill Essence. Chromatic Steel. Bunch of that. Some Painite and Laramar. Looking good. Open our mystery box. Gold. Okay, not that exciting. But this one here is going to be exciting. This is a rare plus level zero sword. Let's see what we get. All right, so another shield here with 7% block chance, weakness cloud when hit, and a plus three health. Um, is it better than my current one? I don't know. It does give me the extra health, which is nice, and has more repairs. Um, but this one seems to have some more thorns, and it's got the healing cloud, which is very nice. Um, yeah. Uh, that's probably going to go into this here as kind of like a backup and we'll keep this one as our main All right, so I really want to make myself a Vault pickaxe now this is made with three vault ingots. You can find those in the vaults and two driftwood and Here we go all right, we have a Vault Pickaxe. Now, this Vault Pickaxe in itself is not that amazing. It doesn't have very many stats. Uh, it's got a 10 mining speed. I'm not really sure what the diamond is, um, but I don't think it's much better. So in order to improve this thing, we need what's called a tool vise. And we can see it here in the JEI. And it consists of three chromatic steel, two copper, polished vault stone, and an anvil. Let me gather that stuff up and let's make ourselves a tool vise. And luckily we got 10 chromatic steel from our stuff. And here we go. We have all the stuff in our inventory. We'll hit the plus button. And there we go. We now have the tool vise. And I believe, and I'm not sure of anything these days, I believe this is what we use to modify our pickaxe. So we can put our pickaxe in here and then we can add uh, certain things to it. So we can add durability, reach, mining speed, and copiously, which I believe copiously is the one that increases your chances of having more ores in the vault? I'm not really 100% sure. If you guys know, please leave it down in the comments. So in order to do each of these, we can increase our durability, uh, reach, things like that. In order to increase those, we need basically what it says there. We need four vault bronze, one red vault essence, and one chromatic steel ingot. Um, I'm not sure what I want to do to this thing yet. I think bronze and plating are easy. I've got some of that. I think I might increase my durability right off the bat. But each time that I improve this pickaxe, uh, we are going to see this star work its way down. And there is a chance that when I do this, I believe it breaks. And so in order to avoid that, we're only going to want to upgrade it a few times. And it's always a risk. It's always a chance. Oh, that's kind of cool. It leaves it sitting in there. Very neat. All right. So I grabbed some stuff here. Let's go ahead and put our vault plating in and our vault bronze in. And now we can increase our durability from 100 to 500. Let's do that. Okay, so now we have more durability. Um, let's see, we have some of this other stuff. I would like the mining speed to be a little bit faster, but I'm not mining a ton of stuff in the vaults, so we're kind of going to have to see where that one goes. Um, this one, I would love to have copiously on it. So, let's see if I have enough stuff to make this work. Alright, so I think I have just enough here to add one level of copiously to it. So let's go ahead and add that. All right, now we're down to a 90% chance that it'll be successful. So we got to be careful with this. Um, I'm not sure how all of this works. Oh, we've leveled to level two. Interesting. All right, so I think that's going to do it for now. I'll save this stuff in here, and I need to get more silver scrap, definitely, and maybe some more netherite scrap as well uh, to be able to use this in the future and really upgrade these pickaxes. Now, I think once you go so high, it's a really high chance of... Things not working well. Okay, so we officially have our challenge set up. So I'm going to place the lectern here. And here is the book called Code's Challenge. For this week, you must wear one of the dolls in the shulker on your head during all vault runs you do. It goes in the bubble slot. Once the week is over, you must return the doll back to the shulker unharmed. Do not place the doll down in the world. It will run away and you will be faced with consequences. You must keep the doll in your slot for the entire week. Please only take one and so forth. So let's place this book down here and then we will place our shulker down right behind it. And there are the dolls. Now some of these have really good loot efficiency. Some of them are not really that great. So yeah, I think this is uh, going to be a nice little way to... Uh, earn my winnings. 
All right, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you all on the next episode.